a Republican Attorney General. The elected Attorney General kills a man, okay? He hits a man with his car, kills him, leaves the scene. He strikes a plea deal, he gets no jail time. This is in South Dakota, Sioux Falls. Republican South Dakota Attorney General has killed a man. We uh, This happened a while ago. This is now uh, coming, resurfacing because he will not go to jail. Attorney General Jason Roundsburg ran over and killed a pedestrian. Let's put up his picture full mass. This was on September 12th, 2020. According to the report, he was looking at an anti Biden article on his cell phone while driving. Okay? He's the attorney freaking general. Joe Bover, let's put up his picture. 55 years of age, so sad. He's supposed to be alive. Was the man that the attorney general killed. He is remembered as a caring man who loves spending time with the elderly and rescuing rescuing neglected plants. That was a good man, very good man. Now, let me give you some background to this story because the attorney general initially told investigators that he thought he had hit a deer. A claim that quickly came into question after the victim's glasses were found in his vehicle in his vehicle, revealing his face had gone through the windshield of the attorney general. South Dakota governor asked for his resignation. He refused to leave, he just killed somebody. Had the evidence in his car, refused to resign. And they pushed to impeach him in the Republican controlled state legislature, stalled out, Republicans had his back. He killed a man. He was ultimately charged with the hit and run, but took a plea agreement and has avoided jail time. Now, when they tell you things like, you know, Jesse Smollett has to be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law because he lied to the police. And damn it, he did lie to the police. And he should not have done it. He deserves a penalty. But this man deserves a real penalty. He killed someone, he was grossly negligent. And then he ran away, evidence of a guilty conscience. Then he lied about it, extended evidence of a guilty conscience. Lied to who? Oh, He lied to the police, put up his picture again. Now, I have a question, is the judge going to investigate the district attorney for accepting the plea deal of the attorney general? Who killed a man? Is the judge now going to order a special prosecutor to prosecute the case because they do not believe this was investigated properly? Or will the community of South Dakota, the political class of South Dakota, the citizens of South Dakota, will they simply accept that the prosecutor has prosecutorial discretion, even if they don't like it? Some things to consider, a man is dead and that attorney general lied. Okay, GOP members mock the death of this man. A GOP political strategist sent a message to the South Dakota Attorney General Jason Roundsburg days after he committed the fatal hit and run with his car. Mocking the deceased victim for his political affiliation saying, well, at least the guy was a Democrat. The message read, the family of Mr. Bover is reportedly enraged by the message. It just rubs me the wrong way. That's what Nick said, that's the cousin of the victim and a former Democratic state lawmaker. That's what he told the Daily Beast. Isn't this ironic? Attorney General kills an entire human being, stays in office, does not resign. And then 
strikes a plea deal after he has lied to the police, has lied to investigators, committed felony obstruction of justice. After committing a homicide, he gets zero jail time. And you wanna talk about equity in the justice system? The justice system, as I say, it is not, it is not broken. It is working as it was designed to. Dan, thoughts here. It's not a justice system, it's an injustice system. Yeah. You look at South Dakota, you look at has a <clears throat> pretty large indigenous population. How many people are in the state of South Dakota and how many times have you had people who do far less of a crime than homicide who get more than zero days of jail time? How often do you have the entire Republican Party in the state of South Dakota go to bat for someone who is not a Republican uh, like Attorney General or someone who is within their ranks. We talk so much about the legal system protecting their own. This is a very literal example of that and it's sickening. Yeah, it's extreme.